I've taken the clutch cover off the side of the uh, 230 which I've um, swapped into the CTX 200 frame uh, you might remember that I was having some clearance um, issues with this uh, side of the engine so let's just see where we're at at the moment I'll just uh, take you in closer so down here on the back of the clutch basket you can see these little parts there that's where it's been just touching and it's been touching on this shiny piece here just here on this edge here of the selector section for the gears now I'm really sure that everything is back in its correct position there's no nothing which is too far forward uh, to change those clearances now I'm pretty sure this is a late 90s SL230 engine that I've got here. It's very similar of course to the CRF 230. Slightly different though in the um, in this side on the clutch covers clutch cover side because this engine actually did have a kickstart option with the electric start and I've actually removed the kickstart option and blanked off that part of the housing. So all of that's okay. So what I'm thinking about doing at this stage is just taking a little just a, just a small amount of this you can just see here that edge just there where it's catching and just on that edge there where it's catching so I'm just going to take a little bit off those rivets not much because of course that holds the whole um, ring gear here the, the actual gear onto the basket so we don't want that coming adrift and I'm just going to take a little bit off the edge of this just dress this down a little bit then what I'm going to do is get a very very small uh, very thin uh, washer and just stick it between the between this part here this is the little space that it goes on here okay just going to bring that out just a whisker about half a millimeter we'll probably do it about half a millimeter and I think that's going to solve my problem uh, I can probably come out a little bit more than that. I'm just worried about hitting the back edge of the spinner here. This back edge here. So I've just got to keep an eye on the clearance there. Uh, if I come out on the basket too far, this part here on the spinner actually sits in front of the basket. So we don't want to touch that. Then the issue with my clutch, I'm just wondering whether or not the, the lever here, the actuator, is pushing hard enough on my little push rod uh, which is which is that part there so what I'm going to do here I'm going to try some different spaces some, some little washers just here between that shoulder there and the and the throw out bearing just to make sure I'm getting plenty of push against the bearing uh, to disengage the clutch because the clutch really is, is not disengaging and um, these uh, uh, all of the discs are uh, heavily oiled and they're very slippery so they shouldn't be binding and so I'm just uh, going to play with those two options there so that's where I am with a little update on the old uh, CTX 200 it's been months since I've been out uh, to the bike and I've just decided that because I'm waiting for um, that tool etc for my timing of my camshafts of the Mercedes I thought well it's a lovely day today uh, let's get back into this project and not have too many projects on the go so that's my uh, that's my idea at this stage to do that so um, once I get those little clearances uh, tied up I'll come back to you with the engine running and hopefully at that stage we'll have a quiet running engine um, as it should be thank you very much for viewing and uh, I'll catch you a little bit later on uh, with an update